I think Southern Illinois was everything they were billed to be. They're a really well-coached team. Um, just do so many things the right way. Their pitcher's tough. Both pitchers were tough. So um, we knew we had a solid opponent, and I, I think our team played well against them. Um, I, I felt like after the big swing from Taylor in the first inning, um, mm-hmm. there was nothing you know that Sid wasn't going to be able to get herself out of. I thought um, giving her the two-run lead from the beginning allowed her to pitch a lot more free. Um, thought she did a good job, never in jeopardy. Uh, never felt like it was in jeopardy, even with runners on base. So I uh, thought it was a solid performance from our team as a whole. I'm um, excited to be moving on to Sunday. Yeah, I think it's game changer. Everybody knows this is the game, the one we just played. Like, that's the game that is the key, I think, to the regional. Of course, there's a lot of ways to win in, in the regional. We've done it a lot of different ways. But winning that game really sets you up to have the rest, the recovery. That that doesn't mean we're not going to have a ball game tomorrow. I mean, whoever we're playing tomorrow is going to give us a game. There's no doubt. It's never been a cakewalk here in a regional. I've never seen that before. Every team that's playing tomorrow is going to be a great softball team. Um, but to get our team the rest and recovery, um, you know, let them breathe a little bit is going to be a game changer. Yeah, it's so hard this time of year. You know, you want to like look for it. Everybody wants to like put their feet in the dirt in Oklahoma City, every team that's playing, all 64. It's not just the Tigers that want to do that. Everybody wants to already be there. Um, But it's so important just to stay where you're at. We had a really quality opponent today. I mean, they were 43 and 9 coming into today. The kid on the mound was 30 and 3. I got the the stats before the game and I was like oh my gosh 30 wins it's incredible what they've accomplished so uh, we had a really formidable opponent today I'm glad we played it pitch to pitch I'm glad Taylor had the big swing in the first inning was a, was a big deal Well, she's definitely more experienced. I mean, we asked a lot of a freshman last year for her to, you know, try to lead us there at the end of the season as a freshman. I think her sophomore campaign has been a lot more veteran. I mean, she's still only a sophomore, but she's pitched with a lot of experience. She's pitched in really big moments. She's pitched us out of really big moments. So I think, honestly, once you can get her a lead, our team feels so confident they're going to do all they can behind her to make it hold. Well, that's where we started the year. I think she's a good fit there. The nine hole is so important to turn the lineup over, you know, get us back to the top. So I think she does a really good job of that. That's where we started the year. So it's nice to finish it and kind of the way we had a bunch of success early. Well, we can't know, right? Because we don't know our opponent. So. Well, I mean, we haven't seen Kelly Lynch yet, who's, you know, an all-region player, I guess, as of today, and it was an all-SEC player. So, I mean, we still have a fresh Kelly Lynch um, that's available to us. And then, of course, you know, Sydney will be ready to go. I mean, she threw 14 in one day last weekend, so I'm sure she can throw back-to-back sevens, you know. Um, So it really and truly is going to depend on our opponent tomorrow, who we go with. Um, And already thinking about that um, ahead of time is I think we need to see how this game goes and who we get, and then we'll make a decision. Yeah, we did have a lot of good swings today. I think we felt good about the way the offense was aggressive and attacking. And we know we faced good pitching. You know, both arms they have are really talented. So um, I think our offense was aggressive and and attacking. And, you know, even our outs were loud outs at times. So um, I thought they did a really good job. And then big pinch hit by Kelly Lynch at the end of the ball game. Uh, Big leadoff swing by McKee. So some of the kids we asked to uh, step up at the end in pinch hit rolls did such a good job. It's so fun when you see your player's number called and they – have success like that. So I think it was a total team effort. Swung well, one through nine, um, against a really good opponent. Yeah, huge. I mean, I went crazy. Um, You know, I I found myself screaming, jumping up and down because I knew what that meant. When you have a Sydney Burzon on the mound and you give her a two-run lead, it's going to be tough to beat us. Um, That's truly how I feel. Uh, so I, I knew what a big swing that was and a big moment, especially off of their pitcher that's had such a good year. And I think everybody's, you know, questioning what is it going to look like? What are we going to do off of her? So to give us that kind of confidence early against such a good arm was a big swing. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, the, the way our lineup is structured with all the left-handers is, is tough at times, you know, for certain types of pitching. So, um, but I think we've also had some really good success against left-handers too. You know, I th think back to Texas A&M where we were able to sweep against one of the best left-handed pitchers in the country. So uh, we have had some success against left-handers, but it always is a tough matchup. I mean, I think um, Southern Illinois pitcher is a tough matchup for every single team they face this year, left-handed, right-handed, all of it. She has 30 wins. Um, I, I didn't feel like the game was ever in jeopardy. She's a drop ball pitcher. She's supposed to use the dirt. Uh, we gave up two ground balls in the inning. I thought she was in command the entire game. Thank you. Thanks.